WBET's Lauren Schuster visited one local oyster farm to find out more about that million dollar mollusk industry. I'm currently in the waters off of Surf City at a local oyster farm, a farm where you'll be able to try their oysters at Ocean Fest. When it comes to oysters, you often come across ones from Louisiana, Maine, or Virginia on most menus. But Ghost Fleet Oyster Company is one of several farmers here in southeastern North Carolina that are putting our shoreline's oysters on the map. Most people have no idea what's happening right out here in the waters off Topsail Island, and so you're in the Napa Valley of oyster farming right here locally. And so we want to encourage people that there's more uh, to how your food is uh, grown than just the grocery store. These oysters are of such high quality, you can even find them at places like Shuck and Shack Surf City. So what is the secret to these special shellfish? The North Carolina coast is such an in incredible place to eat oysters because there is such a change in uh, oysters as you travel these very short distances. The oysters change a lot and so we see tremendous difference even on our three farms. So there's a difference between that farm and this farm and the next farm. But oysters don't just make a delicate and tasty meal. They play a big part in keeping our water clean. One adult oyster, uh, roughly about three inches, can filter about 50 gallons of water per day. And so if you're um, looking at the amount of wild oysters in the waters uh, with uh, farm-raised oysters, it's, uh, you know, it's almost a number of gallons of water per day that you can't even calculate. It's, it's millions and millions and millions and millions. Following the lead of their tiny creations, Ghost Fleet is giving back to the coast too through Ocean Fest. The idea really wasn't uh, to do it for profit. It was mainly to, to give back. We want to partner up with, with uh, nonprofits and other agencies and restaurants and things to basically be able to promote healthy, clean waters for future generations to come. And, and Ocean Fest is just a great way to kind of spread that good message. If you'd like to try these delicious oysters from the Ghost Fleet Oyster Company, then head to Ocean Fest. Reporting off waters in Surf City, I'm Lauren Schuster, WECT News. Cheers. I did it! <laughs> All week long, we'll feature different businesses and events connected to Ocean Fest, leading up to our live Highway 6 coverage of the festival on Friday. Now, a lot of the festival focuses on eco-friendly local efforts to help and protect the ocean. Now, we're starting with Carolina in the morning at 6 a.m., and we'll be there all the way through WECT News at 6 Friday night. You can find more information on Ocean Fest on our website right now.